we're about halfway through his installation of this in phase and symbol system see here we have an in phase smart switch here's another one here we have the iq combiner if you look inside here you see spots you have spots for one two three four breakers for a max total of 80 amps per box most of the time we don't use all four but it's a total of four look here see a 15 amp breaker here we have this is going to be sub panel for backup loads this is a junction box here these are the meters we're connected to. So we'll be coming out of this meter, 90 down and over to this box. So basically everything's connected <clears throat> as far as piping for what we need to run. Makes it a lot simpler. And these are some wires that are gonna be cleaned up once we're done. But if you see here, this disconnect is for this IQ combiner. This one's for this IQ combiner. But the pipe goes all the way down, which connects me in. And we'll be putting some, some CTs over there. The CTs, what they do, current transformers, is measure the amount of consumption that is being used. And inside the IQ combiner boxes are production CTs, and they measure what you're producing from the roof. So the reason I put this box here is because PV will be coming from the attic. It'll be piped down into here. And with these batteries here, Okay, for each in charge three, you can only have six IQ7. I mean, excuse me, you can only have six seven plus microinverters per battery. So this system will be set up for consumption, not backup. So we'll have six here, six here. By being two separate systems, whatever extra panels there are on each one of these sides will be shedded in this box. PV shedding was what that does is if there was a power outage it would it would cut off those panels and only the panels needed to power this battery would be active. These in phase and symbol smart switches are microgrid systems. They have an NFT which is a neutral forming transformer inside and it acts as a transformer. So the way it works is the microinverters, the 7 plus microinverters, will not work unless they see a grid. The NFT helps these smart switches form a microgrid where you can still harness the power even if the, the main power is out. So they have a special relay in there when it senses the power is back on from the meter. It'll switch it over. And you will not only charge your batteries, power your house, but you can send power back to the grid. These Ensemble smart switches are very good. They're very reliable. I've installed quite a few of these. And out of all of the different systems, I've done Sonnen's, Iguana's, a few different systems. These here, I think are the most reliable. Uh, they're, they're pretty easy to commission as long as you keep your steps in order. And that's it. So we'll be back here tomorrow to finish wiring everything up the guys just finished on the roof it's about 4 p.m so this will probably take about maybe half a day to wire up in commission and pipe down from the attic get my pv down into this box split off what i need to split off here shed the rest now when you're shedding these systems when i say shedding they go into terminals that are in the bottom of here and I can show you better in tomorrow's video. To DER terminals, it's a distribution energy resource and that, that's what helps control the shedding process. So it's a very nice system, very good system, very reliable. And that's it, next video tomorrow.